Hi, I'm Chris Ranwell, Product Manager for GE, and today we're going to talk about the new Telair 8000 Ventostat. This is a line of CO2 controllers for building automation systems. These sensors actively work with the building management system to control the ventilation in a building and bring significant savings to most commercial buildings. A new Ventostat series comes in two sizes, one specifically for the European and some use in Asia as well for the smaller size, and this model here that's predominantly used in the US. We have a non-display version and display versions. Let's just quickly look at our non-display vendor stat. This new modern enclosure here includes our CO2 sensor and a temperature sensor. In fact, all of our new vendor stats all have a 10K Type 2 temperature sensor uh, as a standard. The available outputs are current and voltage, so we have a 4 to 20 and 0 to 10 or 0 to 5 and you can select that on the jumper here. You can actually output both current and voltage at the same time from the CO2 and then the thermistor is a passive connection. So actually that's the simple uh, uh, non-display uh, transmitter for both CO2 and temperature. The display versions we have available are also temperature and CO2 but as an option you can also get humidity. The display here actually scrolls from CO2, PPM, to temperature and to humidity, relative humidity. And this will be in, available in degrees C or degrees F for a temperature display. Let's just have a little closer look inside. We're going to look inside here now and the PCB is identical in both units. Here's our CO2 sensor again, this is our 6613, which is a single channel, self-calibrating, um, and in fact we warranty the calibration on CO2 for life. It also has the passive thermistor, just like the non-display one did, um, and in addition to that we have a humidity sensor here. This is our own humidity sensor called ChipCap. So actually we're in a fairly unique position that we're one of the only manufacturers who make CO2, humidity, and a temperature sensor in our own product. The humidity sensor is an option, as I said earlier, and it's removable and replaceable on this little module, uh, little module board here. The outputs, just like the non-display, are available both in current and voltage, 0 to 5 or 0 to 10, and you can select that with the jumpers here. One of the big challenges with designing a product like this is that um, there's a, some heat generated both from power supply and from the CO2 sensor. And that can cause some issues with accuracy, especially on humidity. But what we've done here is, apart from building a lot of venting in here, we've produced a, a product that actually helps pull ambient air across the humidity sensor. So heat rising from these items here, both the CO2 sensor and the power supply, pulls in ambient uh, air from the, from the room below. And that gives us a much more accurate, repeatable measurement. So it's a mechanical uh, solution to this problem. Okay, so moving on here with the other, only other option that we want to talk about today is our up mount. This comes in black. In fact, you can order any of these products in black, but it does come in, uh, in a black enclosure. And it's a UL945V, as these all are in terms of fire resistance. So you'd mount this on the side of the duct, and you would use these pitot tubes here, connected to the bottom of this instrument here, to get a duct CO2 measurement. Again, available with display. So that's it, the new Ventostat product. We've given you a brief explanation of each of the products, both the display and the non-display. And the addition of humidity really means that you can actually install less boxes on the wall for less money. And you can start to bring energy savings to all your customers.